Today we're going to be doing a relatively quick live stream uh, showing how to make sort of a first PR in a new project. Now this is a continuation of sorts um, from a previous stream that I did, which was my sort of introduction to Apache Iceberg. Um, I'd never worked with the project before or even built it or, or anything like that, and so I um, went through sort of the process that I go through when I'm getting familiar with a new open source project. Um, and in that process, we found one flaky test and we reported a issue on GitHub. Uh, and now today we're going to fix it. And I'll make sure to leave a, a link to that other video down below in the comments uh, so you can see it. Um, and before I get too far, though, I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that this has come up on YouTube because the you know, when restream is occasionally a little bit tricky. Okay, looks like that's good. We're gonna go ahead and switch this over into live mode. Okay, um, and now we're gonna want to go and take a look at Apache Iceberg. Okay, so Apache uh, incubating iceberg issues. Okay. Um, and now. I, I wrote this issue a while ago. Uh, life got a little bit busy and I have a chance to get back to it. And it's so test scan summary appears to be flaky. This is the issue that we reported, and this is the issue that we're going to work on today. Um, and it was I was building Apache Iceberg for the first time, and I ran into a test failure with test scan summary. Um, Ryan said there was a fix in it, and then. Um, he, he included the git commit hash. I pointed out the hash that I was at and um, the fact that it already included this fix. Um, another person pointed out that they were still seeing this issue as well. Um, although they were only finding it in CI. Um, and essentially he said, uh, we can update the logic to be a bit more paranoid about the values we get from uh, system current time millis. This was 25 days ago, and I promised to fix it 24 days ago, but, but life happened, and that's okay in open source, right? Like, many of us have day jobs where we work on other things. Um, I spend most of my time focused on Apache Spark, so I haven't had the chance to come back to this until recently. But now we've got the time, and uh, we're going to go ahead, and we're, we're going to fix this. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go... Well, I really not the at this point. The next thing that we're gonna do, um, this is so it would be like incubator iceberg. Yeah. Okay. What branch are we on? Okay. Who are our remotes? Okay. So I've got a upstream remote, and that's that's the the, the GitHub of the the repository I forked. I forked. Sorry. So I'm gonna go ahead and get pull upstream master. Um, then we're going to go ahead and get checkout dash B. Um, I like doing my branch names this way so I can find the corresponding issue. Iceberg 494, um, test can summary, flakes. Um, gives us this new branch for us to do our work on. Now what we're going to do here is iceberg and then test scan summary dot java. Um, and so this is a busy wait loop. Um, And so what we're going to do, um, so we're going to switch this to less than or equal to. And so this is because current time millis sometimes can, can float backwards. Um, so it can behave a little weird. Um, and essentially, we want to make sure um, 
Oh wait, no, that should be fine because we're, we're sorting the T1 moves forward. We want to make sure that our snapshots are, are occurring uh, one after the other, even if our system clock is perhaps not, you know, moving uniformly forward. But that looks okay. Um, and this is I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in a comment. Um, uh, busy wait uh, for our clock to tick forward. Sometimes clocks may tick backward. Um, yeah, yeah, busy wait for our clock to tick forward. That's, that's probably... Actually, we should do that here. Let's do that. Okay. Uh, let's... Is there another instance of current time? Nope. Okay, so that's that's really it. Um, although I do want to make sure that it builds, and I don't remember completely. Nope. Okay. Uh, there we go. Um, love you too, girl. See you at the airport. Yeah. See you at the airport. Remember to check the time, eh? Yeah. So we're going to build this first, I guess. And we're going to skip building the test. But I do want to build... Um, I do want to run one specific test. Like, I want to run test scan summary and make sure I didn't break it. So I'm going to look up how to do that. Uh, and, and hopefully that'll... Good. Um, love you, girl. Okay, so we can just try this, and we'll we'll give it a filter. Um, first, we'll we'll wait for it to compile without the tests. Um, make sure. Make sure that all works out. Um, no, it'll take a good minute or two. Let's take a look. Okay, cool. Um, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear the sound of my fan spinning back down to tell me the tests are done running. Uh, so that's that's always fun. Okay, so the test that we want to run and make sure I didn't break is Org Apache Iceberg. And it's test scan summary, okay. Um, and so this is compiling the tests. Okay, it does not like what we did. Build failed with an exception. I hate computers sometimes. What was the exception, y'all? Um, fuck no. These are all just warnings. Ah, okay, okay. No test found in Apache Iceberg. Okay. Um, there are multiple 
multiple parts of Apache Iceberg, same as Spark. So let's maybe in Gradle.properties. I'm not, I'm not optimistic. Um, like, I don't know what the task is that we're in. Um, it might be core. Maybe it's core. Let's try that. Okay. Um, uh, how do I get Gradle to? Oh, I hate computers. Mm -hmm. not quite what I want. These are okay. Uh grade all print modules. Um I would like to see That doesn't look nice. I don't. I don't like this. Um, Test. There we go. Okay. I'll run this one test. We'll make sure it's okay. And we'll make our PR. Okay, cool. But looks like it worked out fine. Um, it ran our test. We know because it yelled at us when we tried to run like a test that didn't exist. We'll, we'll double check that by running, asking it to run the thing that doesn't exist. And then uh, if, if that goes well, then we can just go ahead, commit this, push this, and make a PR. Yeah, cool. Yeah, that's great. Or, yeah, okay. Uh, Okay, uh, do, 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 busy, uh, busy wait, um, uh, current time, uh, millis, mm. let's, yeah, no, let's give a more descriptive commit message. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick something that's, um, do, do, do. Try to improve to do, do, do uh, by waiting for the clock to tick forward in between uh, snapshots. Um, when testing uh, time-based operations, I think that's that's a reasonable description of what we've done here. So now. We're gonna go ahead and push this here. Make a new 
pull request. Is there like a... I'm going to double check that there's no pull request template. No, okay. Uh, oh, well, actually, sorry. Let's go look at pull requests. Look at how other people format their pull requests. Uh, okay, yeah. Um, <clears throat> um, so now we're going to go ahead and we'll find our issue. We'll say this closes issue number. Oh, damn it. This closes issue. I don't know. Whatever. Um. <coughs> okay. Um. I guess that's that's really it. It's, it's not a big complicated PR, right? Um, and I think this is this is actually really important. For your first PR, you want to pick something pretty small. Um, and, and so that's what we've done here. Um, now it says I'm a member, and that's because I'm a member of the ASF. I'm not actually a member of this project. Um, this is my, my first time you know doing anything with Iceberg, really. Uh, so I mean, that's, that's really sort of where we're at, um, you know. Uh, thanks for joining me. I, I hope this shows that it, it can be relatively simple to, to make a first PR to a new project. Um, I think Iceberg's kind of a neat project to, to work in, um, especially for folks who, who have some Java background. Uh, so if you're, you know, looking for a project to, to do that in, that's certainly an option. Although, you know, over in Spark, we, we also could use Java developers too. Um, yeah, okay, cool. It, it doesn't look like there's any questions this morning. Um, but, you know, feel free to go ahead and leave any comments or, or questions on the recording, and I'll do my best to, to answer them. I hope you all have a lovely weekend, um, and I will get back to doing my regular code review sessions uh, next month. Uh, this month has just had too much travel, so probably second week in November, I'll be, I'll be back to my regular cadence of doing code review sessions until at least December when, when everything... Uh, when I go to Australia and my time gets all screwed up. So thanks for joining me. Have a lovely rest of your week or, or weekend or whatever. And uh, I hope to see you all in the open source community. Bye.